Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome back to another Skyrim modding tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to very easily unpack BSA files for the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Now, this is going to cover both Legacy and Special Edition, as well as AE, which isn't all that different. It's essentially extra content. Uh, and something else to be aware of, although I won't be covering it specifically in this video, this can also unpack the BA2 files for Fallout 4. So let's dive into it. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is head over to the Skyrim Nexus and you're going to need to download a very handy tool called the BSA Browser. This is created by Alex EG and it's still in development today, so it's still receiving support at the time of this video, which is fantastic. Um, and this will allow you, as I say, to open up BSA files for the Elder Scrolls titles and additionally, although not covered in this video, uh, BA2 files for Fallout 4. Something to note is that it does not include SO, so the Elder Scrolls Online. It won't do that. Very different. Uh, I would recommend that you give the description a good read and see what the different sort of features are uh, and keep up with what the changes are and the fixes. Um, but otherwise, uh, in order to get this on your system, simply go to Files and you've got two methods to install this. Number one is you can do a full installation on your system. Uh, or you can go ahead and have a portable mode so you can pretty much just dump it wherever you like and load it straight from there without having to install anything. Uh, that's the method I tend to use for small tools for modding like this so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to download it and I'm going to show in folder and in my downloads I'm going to extract it with 7-zip. You could be using anything like WinRAR or Windows Extractor itself and then it will give you a folder with a nice long-winded name. I'm just going to go ahead and change this so it's a bit cleaner, to BSA Browser. If you go into that folder, you'll see that you've got the executable and everything that accompanies it. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. Go to my Skyrim directory. For Special Edition, you'll most likely have a tool section where they've already included some useful tools. This is where I put the other stuff that I have as well, such as SSE Edit. And I'm going to place it into here. You can put it wherever you like. If you don't have a tools section or you're planning to use this for legacy Skyrim, just create a tools folder and dump it in there. It's nice and tidy. One other thing to mention as well, if you really want to, is you can load up a mod manager of your choice, Mod Organizer 2 in my case, or Vortex, which I won't be covering. And you can go ahead and add it into here as well. So if I click on Edit, Executables, Add from File, Navigate to that tools folder through my Skyrim Special Edition directory, and then I can click on BSA Browser, click on the executable, click Open, Apply, OK. And I can also open it straight up from here. So with the BSA Browser tool open, you can see that by default it's pretty empty. There's not a lot there because you haven't opened anything yet. Uh, you can go ahead and open BSA files by going onto File and Open Archive. That will open up File Explorer. And then you just navigate to your special edition directory and do a data folder. And then you can go ahead and open something up in here if you wish. Another way of doing this is that you could navigate to here first. And you can just drag and drop, which is really handy, uh, really nice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open the Fishing BSA as part of Anniversary Edition, as I've got an upcoming video on that and I might need to take a look at the scripts. So if I go ahead and open that, you can see what it does. It just loads everything up in here. You can see all the meshes, the scripts, the sounds, the textures, everything. And one of the fantastic things about this tool as well is that you can open files straight up from here without actually having to extract everything and placing it somewhere. So for an example, I'll see if I can load up a sound file. And you can see it just loads straight up into VLC player or whatever media player you use and plays a sound. Uh, or, of course, I can go ahead and extract everything. So you've got two options for extraction. You can do a straight up extract of all these files into a particular location. So again, it will navigate here. And if I went to my desktop and just made a folder for extract test and select folder, it will go ahead, extract everything into that folder. If I just open Explorer here, you'll see it's put everything in loose. But if I don't want all that loose, so I just delete all that now. And instead, I want to extract it, but with all of the folders intact. 
so I can see what I'm looking at and it's easy to work through. I can do that as well. So if I just click on BSA at the top there and extract with folders and then go to the desktop, extract test, select folder, you'll now see that when I open that up from the desktop, that it has put everything into folders really nice and neatly. You'll also notice um, just an additional bit of info here, but with Anniversary Edition, uh, at least with phishing, I haven't tested too many of the BSAs, but they don't include the source script. But you can get decompilers to open them up with. Just something to mention. And it's as simple as that for opening up BSAs. And then from there, you can do whatever you want with the files, obviously, within reason. Uh, other things to note just before the end of the video is that there are various options on here as well for things like uh, quick extraction, um, previewing file types, and a few other options. Really, really handy, including checking for updates as well. As I said earlier on in the video, it's still being supported at the time of this video. Um, so, yeah, it's a really impressive, simple to use tool for opening up BSA files, and it can also work for Fallout 4. And that is just about it for this tutorial video. So I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments section down below. And of course, if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button and the bell notification if you'd like to see more videos and tutorials like this one. And that is just about it from me. So thank you all very much for watching and I will speak to you all next time.